What? Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I want to teach you guys some synchronous presets. I think this preset is actually pretty cool, although I've started messing around with it a little bit more, and I'll show you guys like three to four different. Well, I'll make them in front of you so that way you'll know how to create them. Uh, this is a simple patch showing off. Uh, I'm gonna scroll through all the different presets that we're gonna be working with today. So anyways, uh, take a listen. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to show you how to make the patch and then I'm going to show you how to make the synchronous patches along with it. Uh, just in case you want to get everything, not just the synchronous patches but the sound as well. So to create this, we want to create a Thor polyphonic synthesizer, more chords than one. I'm going to hit show programmer. Uh, instead of my first oscillator, I'm going to basically leave this as is. It sounds pretty nice already. Basic saw. I'm going to take it off uh, low pass and put that to bypass. And for my second oscillator, I'm going to choose my multi oscillator. I'm going to take it all the way to a fifth up and let's see I boost it by two actually let me make sure this is five it is five so octave five and a basic initialized patch of Thor it sounds a little bit crisper to get that wideness and to get more of a pumping feeling we can do some bit of sidechain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a studio effects of my M class compressor. I'm going to set it to bypass for now and I'm going to basically save this for later. We want to create a redrum Kong. I'm sorry, a redrum hold shift so that way it doesn't I'll hit tab so that way you can see there are no cables here. That's good. So I'm just going to minimize these two for now. So what we want to have next is we want to have our synchronous. Now I'm not going to play with anything for the synchronous, but I'm going to show you that we need a little bit few extra patches on this. So I'm just getting everything lined up so that way when we need to use it we can. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a audio retromatic transformer. I'm going to set it to spread. That will take care of our widening settings for now. Leave it where it is for now, except for the dry wet. Take that back about 50%. Next, create a M-Class equalizer. <laughs> Got to make sure you're still with me. Turn on low cut. Turn on P1. And for P1, I'm going to take the frequency to 883.9 hertz. What is so special about that? 883.9. Let me hold my Apple key. 880. That's pretty close. Uh, when you hold Command or Control, uh, depending if you're using a Windows, it's Control. If you're on Mac, it's a uh, command. If you hold that down while uh, rotating the frequency knob, you can get the exact 
thing you're looking for. Take the gain all the way down, Q all the way up. And for our second parameter, I'm going to take that to 1.845 kilohertz or 1845 kilohertz. Doop a doop do. Five. Ah, uh, already had it. Ah, uh, come on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> come on. Ah. Uh. It's super duper. Like. Touchy on my computer for some reason. Uh, there we go. I take the game down, Q all the way up, and attach a M class maximizer on it. Take the limiter off, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, take the amount to 127. And if you want a little bit more crispiness, after the automatic, you want to create a BV512 digital vocoder. Take it to four bands and switch it to equalizer mode. Take the shift to about 35 and you should have it. Now for the synchronous patches. And let me, sorry, let me make sure I keep everything intact for you guys. Ah, uh, yes. One last thing for our Thor. We want to take our decay to 16.8 and our release to negative 7.6. Okay. To create that pumping feeling, I'm going to go to my redrum and I'm going to choose something in the Reason Factory sound bank. I'm going to go to my Kong patches, Kong sounds, bass drum, choose the arena. I'm going to set that to every other for the Let's see for the mini nuts I'm gonna set it for every one five nine thirteen and I'm gonna hit run what this is gonna do is gonna create that side chain pumping effect for our compressor but we want to flip it over take out one and two and put it on our side chain so now if I play some chords So now that we have that basic classic house feel, to get that more progressive sound, what we're going to do in our synchronous is for our first parameter or our first envelope, I'm going to basically take a, uh, I think this is a pulse down, and I'm going to set it to eights. I'm also going to set my uh, track, my little clipper here, to the middle. That's a very solid white line right here and that is 16 steps this thing has 32 steps in it so I'm basically going to click and drag at the middle and I'm going to turn on my filter make sure it's a low pass set my frequency to about 27 percent and for this little mod control that's what's going to control the envelope I'm going to set that to about a quarter of the way. So when we hit play, get that sort of pumping feeling. To create more, uh, more of a buildup, you want to choose your second parameter. And for this, it can be kind of tricky but what you can do is you can choose this little flat tool. It's right next to the square. And you want to basically go all the way to like a click and drag and hold all the way to the right hand side. And that's also another note for the first parameter. You want to click and drag to create these. Same thing for the second one to create more of a buildup. And you want this to affect the frequency mod knob. 
almost at the yellow crescent mark that we made earlier we want that to stretch a little bit more let me see if I can zoom in for you guys all right so we want this to zoom in just a little bit more see how it's almost there almost at the uh, yellow line we want that to extend a little bit more than the yellow line so that way when it builds it builds even higher and much louder so have a listen to the demo chords or the synchronous patch that we just created Hold on, there seems to be some going wrong. I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I fixed the problem. It actually turns out that when you do the side chain for the, if you decide to do a side chain for the compressor and redrum instead of the synchronous. Uh, what it actually does, it takes the audio out and reroutes it to the redrum. So I just change things a bit. Anyways, uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't do that. Okay, so for our second patch on our synchronous, uh, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to create more of a rhythm and sway with our second pattern. <laughs> To do this, I'm going to set it to a sine wave, and I'm basically going to go in and see what I can do to the beginning, end, and middle. So I'm just going to click and drag. I'm basically going to create very small pockets. Not that extreme, but um, I guess you can do some like that. Uh, to create more pulses on top of pulses, uh, you want to create the pulse down waveform. And like I said before, like click and drag. And you want to make sure it's 1 8. want to make sure it's a little bit higher than the yellow curve. Now if we take a listen. get more plugs. To create more ARPs in your sound, you want to go back to your waveform 1 and you want to think of completing this section. So I doesn't I don't like how it dips all the way down. So I'm going to take basically a rising down and see if I can kind of create not not mess with the first curve but create for the second curve like a little sharp uh, and hit back. Like if you don't want to have sharp hits, you can actually do the reverse and try and complete the waveform rather than taking it apart in the middle. And what this will do is it will create more of a rhythm when you're trying to get new ideas. Uh, so those are the basic three synchronous um, forums I've trying to teach you guys. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm trying to teach more and get more and uh, just trying to come up with uh, newer and better tutorials to teach you guys. Anyways, take care, um, eat lots of food, enjoy your summer, and I'll check back with you guys in a week. I'm going to create basically a dubstep track. <laughs>